I used to call it wizard slave. <laughs> the JJ, the Jutz, um, vagina. Penis. A pain. I call a penis a noodle. <laughs> People are afraid of vaginas, and I was very afraid of uh, vaginas, my own and other people's. I do know what my vagina looks like. Um, I guess from a lot of mirror looking. Would you like to draw a vagina first? I can attempt to draw a vagina, yes. <laughs> I'm not a very good drawer. I know, I don't know why I made it proportionally so much smaller. I didn't mean to. That's not a statement of any sort because I don't associate genitals with gender. Genitals do not equate to the gender. A lot of people who have vaginas aren't women and a lot of women don't have vaginas. That's the penis and I guess you could have the foreskin. I drew a flaccid penis because <laughs> I really like flaccid penises. And then this is what the penis looks like when it's erect or it gets hard. People know a lot more about penises than they do about vaginas. Like even the fact that people think that the vulva is the vagina, um, it's not. Vagina is the canal, the internal part of your reproductive organs where tampon or fingers or sex toys goes and your vulva is the more external part so including like the area of lips and clit and the part that's more on the outside. That's the clit, that's the pleasure center. Which I'm gonna do as a star because it really is the star of the show. The clit is the only part of the human body that's solely for pleasure. It has no other purpose than to get you off. And then, oh my god, what is this one called? I hope they don't think they pee out of their vaginas. Urethra, there we go. That's the labia majora on the outside and that's the labia minora. I love reading those girly magazines like Dolly and Girlfriend. And um, I remember reading something in there about like labia size, which I'd never really considered or thought about. Um, and then I got a mirror and like looked at my own and was like, oh God, one of them's way longer than the other. I always thought when I was younger and I guess like based from porn, um, that my labia, like my inner labia, were too big, too long, just too much vagina. I was kind of wondering why mine was slightly darker colour or like one lip was a bit lower than the other. I basically had read in the magazine that you could have a procedure, it's called labiaplasty, where you um, have part of your labia like trimmed off so it's like more even. And I did get it done when I was 15. I've seen lots of vaginas and um, being a lesbian and you know, some they all look different. Some of the flappy bits are a little bit smaller, some of the flappy bits are a little bit larger, and that's really normal and okay. I got a calendar a couple of years ago called 101 Vaginas, where it just showed a whole bunch of like different vulvas. Hairy vaginas, vaginas with big flaps, older vaginas. And I was just like, oh, okay. Other people's look like that. Okay. Knowing what I know now about the variety of bodies out there, I probably wouldn't bother to do it. Um, but you know, can't really change what's happened and um, thankfully there was no like a negative damage or consequences. I love vaginas, they're so impressive. It is such a like self-cleansing, fascinating organism. Yeah, I, I like it. I think vaginas are great. I think my vagina is now great. Really passionate about talking about it now so that people can know that there's like lots of diversity out there, bodies, and know that there's different ways to celebrate your body.